What's up, YouTube? Dazwell Beats back with another video. If this is your first time to the channel, as always, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. All right, today, what we're doing is another how to video. I'm showing you how to use the software because, um, one of my subscribers asked me a question, so I'm showing you how to do it. All right, so let's go. Let's get it. After the intro, I'm going to explain everything. All right, let's go. Let's get it. All right, what's up, YouTube? So I got a uh, comment from one of my subscribers. He's asking how to. This is a how-to video. So what he's asking, he, said, he says, Hey, Dazwa, I'm so sorry to be saying this, but I cannot find a clear way on how to loop a sound. All right, so don't be sorry for asking the question. Like I said in my last video, man, whenever you're trying to learn something, just ask the question is not a bad question is nothing because you're trying to learn and you don't know so you ain't got to be sorry for asking the question all right it's a question and i'm gonna try to answer it for you all right so this is what he say hey doswell i'm so sorry to be saying this but i cannot find a clear-cut way on how to loop a sound and how do i trim stuff as soon as i trim it how would i loop it even with the advanced viewing on, I have trouble with this. If you could make a quick four minute video on how to do this, if you could make a quick four minute video on how to do it, that would be great. All right. So that's what I'm doing today, man. All right. And so the advanced view that he's talking about, this is what I was talking about. The advanced view. You go right here to the, the menu, go to view. And go to workspace and advance all right so you see it pop up everything that you need right here pop up on mine's it just popped up i don't know why it don't pop up on his but the thing is to loop you want to make sure that your loop is on right here if it's if it's black that means it's off if it's blue that means it's on all right so that's how you loop your bars all right so let me show you what we're gonna do we're gonna make just a, a quick uh piano something and then we're gonna loop it and first what we're gonna first what we're gonna do we're gonna turn it off now we're gonna go to uh let's bring up something let's bring up the mini grand all right so the mini grand is here let's make a quick um loop real quick and then we can figure out what it is all right so let's go First, I have it turned off, right? So let's go now. All right, see, so it kept going. Let's show you. It kept going past the uh, eight bars, right? It just kept going. Let's undo that. Let's go back to eight bars and let's redo it with the loop on. See the loop, once the loop is on, it make it loop. So this is your loop button right here that you need. If you don't see it right here, right? If you don't see a loop button right here, all you have to do is hit this menu button right here and make sure the loop is on. So you can hit that for the seat is inside the sequence. Make sure inside the sequence, you hit this little button and your loop is there. It's the same thing with the track. It have the same thing. You have different options in here too. Same thing with the programs. You hit this and you have different options too, right? But for some reason, I don't know why your advanced workspace didn't do that. But my advanced workspace workspace actually shows the loop button. 
all right so this is your loop button all right so now we have that right let's bounce this to audio and answer your second part of your um of your question your second part of your question says and how do i trim stuff and as soon as i trim it how do i loop it all right so i'm guessing you're asking about audio so let's bounce this to audio all right let's bounce to a sample first to trim stuff you want to go here to your sample edit if you don't see a sample edit you can come here go to view go to toolbar go to toolbar um modes and right here where is that sample edit make sure that's that's checked all right so you see where is that i'm gonna leave it open for you so you go to view toolbar toolbar modes and sample edit if whatever you want to add up here this is where you come and add it. All right. So now once that's done, here go our sample. We're going into sample edit to trim stuff. You right here, you can go to trim, chop program. All right. So trim you in trim right now. All right. First, if you want to play the whole loop, you don't have an MPC. You do it right here. Play loop right here. This button right here. It plays the loop of your sample. All right. Now, if you want to uh, chop something up, you'll come right here and go to chop. All right. So to add chops without the MPC, if you hover over it, you see this red arrow with the plus. Wherever you go right here and you left click with your mouse, it will add a chop. So you left click. That's one chop and you see it added here. But let's undo. So the first place you want to add a chop is at the front. And that's your first one right there, right? That's your first slice. Then your second slice, right there. Third slice, fourth slice. And you just keep going wherever you want your slices. All right, so that's how you slice stuff up, right? Now say you wanna bring this into your uh, MIDI so you can, not your MIDI, but into your, so you can play the chops and record the chops. What you have to do is uh, come right here. Uh, new program, new drum program using slices and just hit do it. Once you do that, you'll come back to your MIDI home, go to another track, track two, go to your um, drums make sure your program right here is set to what you just did and there go your chops right here all right so that's your chops that's how you chop it and you'll just hit record and And you see the looper is on, the loop is on, so it's looping it. So that's how you do your loops, all right? As always, man, if you have any questions, never too small question, never a dumb question. If you don't know, you don't know, just ask the question and I'll try to answer it if I know, all right? So that's how you loop your MIDI and how you loop your audio and how you slice your audio, all right? Catch you in another one, man. Let's go.